Ah, oh, man, you, you talk about a game of just emotions. Uh, and I thought uh, coming out of the gate, you know, I, I felt like we were tight. I thought that championship uh, pressure was kind of there. You know, we missed some easy buckets. And then it kind of played right into you know, Villa Angel St. Joe's uh, scheme of slowing things down and kind of took us out of rhythm. And, you know, when we got back at halftime, we just talked about the things that we weren't doing. Uh, you know, 50 50 balls. I mean, we had five fouls. Five. We do that in a quarter. Um, and we, I just didn't think we were aggressive. We, we weren't defending. Um, first, I think, two minutes, they had f maybe three, if not four, offensive rebounds. Uh, our scouting report said we got to keep them off the boards. They crash hard, they play so hard. And, um, you know, I knew Coach Kwasniak was going to have a heck of a game plan. I, I watched his film and I, f I saw some things that I did not see uh, in previous two years. So, you know, give a lot of credit to him and his program. And, you know, I, I said it before, that guy should be Division Three Coach of the Year because no one gave that guy a chance to get back here. And uh, you know, kudos to him. And, you know, we're, we're all champions here. And um, I'm, I appreciate his, his present that he left me. But uh, when you have a group of seniors that are just focused and poised, we got back to that locker room and I saw a bunch of guys that, uh, you know, came out and said we were going to be hungry, we were going to be thirsty. We talk about being lion-hearted the entire season. Um, we came out and just got stops. We got rebounds. We contested every shot. We were able to then transition. And when you can transition with these two knuckleheads, um, good things are going to happen. Good things are going to happen for Lima Central Catholic. Frank, talk about these two guys by your shoulders, what they mean to you. And on the big stage, they shine like the sun. Let them know. They, uh, as you can see, they put a smile on my face every day. And I'm going to try to do this without getting emotional because I'm going to truly miss them. Uh, you, you talk about shine like the sun. They're, they're like suns to me. Um, you know, showing up at my house, you know, getting keys to go work out, you know, at 10 o'clock at night or, or one at 5.30 in the morning to go work out. You know, they put the time and effort into making sure that they brought home this, this hardware. You know, Trey, perfect example, a year ago, busted shoulder, banged up shoulder, surgery a few weeks after the state tournament, has just really <clears throat> put the time and effort to, to get where he's at. Um, and, he, and he showed why he's one of the best players down at the state tournament this weekend because of his uh, hard work and dedication. And these guys put more more time into their game um, than, it, than a lot of kids. And there's a reason why we're holding these, this hardware here today because they were determined. Uh, you know, in 2014, they both had roles, uh, you know, backup roles, whether it's rebound, take care of the ball, defend, typically third or fourth option. Yeah, these guys are one, two. And there's no particular order because any given night it could, he could be one or he could be one. That's the great thing about our team to having these two guys sitting beside me. Um, I'm a blessed man. Trey, talk about the difference between last year and this year for you. I mean, did you strip anything better when you played today? Um. No, not really. Uh, after coming off the shoulder surgery, I, I honestly didn't think I would, you know, be this player I am today. But I put the hard work in, and the, you know, the time, the dedication, and uh, the, re the results are showing. What's the feeling to come out and play like that in Wednesday? Oh man, words. Uh, I can't even put it in words. It's just something, you know, from the grace of God. You know, He's been blessing me. You know, and uh, I can't really put it in words. <laughs> hey, let's talk about the second half. Uh, Compared to the first half, you came out, you know, like a different guy in the third, especially the fourth quarter. What was the difference? Uh, the first half, I was kind of off, and then uh, Coach Kill settled me down at halftime, and then Trey came back second half and said uh, he gonna feed me more, and uh, he got me in the right position, able to score. Looks like you had a different me mentality. Talk about the mentality in the fourth quarter. Uh, the fourth quarter. Uh, Trey looked like he was getting kind of gassed, so I knew I was going to have to uh, take an extra step. You were uh, getting tired, were you? He was tired, but uh, I knew I was going to have to take an uh, extra uh, load on my back, and he uh, led me to that. Trey, Coach Kwasniak embraced you for a pretty long time, pre-game and post-game. What did he tell you in both those instances? I wasn't a deal on guard. It meant a lot to me. Uh, you know, I'm not too worried about it. I know something will come. Uh, you know, my faith is in God. And I know it'll put me in the right place. Frank, was, what was the number one thing you said to this guy today? Ah, rebound. I mean, we just, you know, we, we had to dominate the boards. I think we were only up one at halftime. And I really thought at, at, at some point um, things were just going to start falling into place for us. 
And we, I mean, we literally were, I think it was, it was one, one, a difference at one at halftime, and we ended up winning by 14. Um, we focus on that a lot. I mean, it's, it's literally a, it's an easy formula for success. I mean, when you have these guys, um, rebounding and defending, it's not an easy thing to do by, by, by all means. Most kids want to score. You know, they want to shoot the ball because the stats in the paper tell you how many points they average. But as a, a total team, they, they really just sat down and did it together. They rebounded together. You know, perfect example of them doing everything together was when that lady called uh, the seniors up to receive the trophy. These seniors didn't want to do it by themselves. They wanted their team with them. You know, and that's that's uh, that's the kind of the classy guys that they had. That they didn't want to have all the accolades by themselves. They wanted they wanted to make sure that the team felt this. You know, they've been total team players the entire time. And you know, as a coach, you know, uh, kind of a father figure to them. I try to teach them, you know, the important things in life and just continue to embrace everybody, not just themselves. Frank, talk about the play with Ethan O'Connor this weekend. <laughs> You know, he's, he's a guy that just does the dirty work that most people don't appreciate. Obviously, if you've been around the program long enough, you know he's a gritty kid. He's a hard-nosed kid. He plays super hard, comes up with some big shots at the you know, most unexpected times. Um, he's a guy, you know, I watched him two summers ago. The kid went off and made like nine threes in a summer game. You know, but that's because you know Trey wasn't there, and we needed someone to step up. He's a guy that, that has a lot of leadership skills when needed, and uh, I thought he hit a big three there for us. You know, um, it's just kind of the guy that you like around on your team that you love to go to war with because he'll just do anything that you ask him. And that that's really all of all my seniors. That's that everybody on the team. If you ask him to do something, you know, when and where. Trey, this is more as a compliment to you. I assume you guys know root for Lima Senior tonight. Um, and Lincoln View. <laughs> I'm just curious, number five, do you have a relationship with, with X? Are you competitive? Are you friends? Are you, you wish each other luck and inspire each other, anything like that? No, that's my brother. You know, we grew up together. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, that's, that's my brother. Yeah. That's my brother. Trey, you get as one of the words of your feelings right now compared to when you were down here last year and head back for home? Uh, Heading back for home last year, uh, the seniors knew right away we weren't gonna have this, you know, the, the face, the faces that we had in that van, and uh, we worked for it. As soon as we got back and uh, put in the time and work, and uh, the results are showing. Uh, the feeling was complete opposite. Last year we had our heads down, as you've seen in the newspaper, which we hold up in our locker room, uh, to so we can remind ourselves on that feeling we had. And then this year. Uh, you, you guys probably heard us in the locker room chair, so that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Thank you.